In this video, I want to show you three easy steps to follow so you can create beautiful studies of landscape like this one. Hey there, David Medieval from Paintable, and in this video, I want to talk about a, a study that I did of a beach following the uh, Paintable Discord uh, challenge uh, of the week, which was to paint a, a beach, a summer beach. And so I started to do this illustration, and while doing it, what I realized uh, is that I was following basically three steps, three easy steps to follow. And in this video, I want to point out what are these steps so that you can use them as well to create your own illustrations. And you'll see these steps are very easy. The first step is create a shape. Then the second step is to establish the light and shadow. And the third step is adding details, as little or as much as you want. All right, and so the first step here would be to establish those basic shapes. Like I was saying, these are the shapes that will establish your composition. And if you're doing a uh, photo study, then it's for you to break down the photography that you're looking at into just the basic shapes. Like for me, in, instead uh, of trying to paint details on a mountain and the sky, it was one big block for the mountains, one big block for the sky, big block for the clouds, beach, ocean. And these blocks form the step one, the basic shapes. Then for step two, we're starting to add a little bit more lighting. When it comes to the ocean, you'll see it's more about actually texture at this point. But when it comes to the mountains, I'm adding as much as I can the light and shadow uh, with a texture brush. I'm not going into any details. And I'm adding the darkest color of the leaves, which basically will form the shadow of the leaves. And I'm doing basically some basic light and shadow on every part of this illustration based on each of those first building blocks that we did when we painted the first shapes. Then it's time to start adding some details. And at this point, it's really up to the artist to add as little or as much details as they want. In my case, I'm using a texture brush because the texture of that brush will help me to add details without really having to add details manually. Basically, the texture that that brush has will make the uh, viewers believe that I've been adding a lot more details than I actually did. And I'm playing with that effect uh, to my advantage. Adding some texture brush is really a great way to add some details and interest in your painting without having to spend hours and hours on tiny small details. And at the end what I'm adding is one, uh, one major element that will add uh, really a lot of charisma to this painting, the boat uh, and a few birds in the sky. By the way, if you like this video and would like to see more of those, make sure to subscribe. I'll be uploading more of these videos on a weekly basis. And I have a last a speed painting here that I just wanted to give you as another example. Once again, I'm basically painting the first step, which is the basic shapes. Then I go into uh, a little bit of the light and shadow uh, for the mountains, the oceans, and all those parts. And I'm finishing afterwards with details. And that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. It was a quick, fun study to make. And if you want to participate into the next Paintable Challenges, you can join the Discord community. I'll put a link in the description of this video. And if you want to continue to learn with me, you can do two things. You can either subscribe or join the Digital Painting Academy, which I'll also put a link in the description of this video. And for the rest, I'll see you in the next video. Happy painting, guys.